Welcome 2023. We have so many plans for this year. Ma'oz means strength, and our goal is to make believers in Israel stronger at the end of this year than they were at the end of last year. Stronger in the Lord, stronger in their homes, stronger in their understanding of God's future for them. Because the greatest testimony we have for God's goodness to Israelis is a strong and healthy body. We began the year with our four major areas of operation, outreach, worship, aid, and publishing. In worship, we advance the vision of the restoration of the Levites in the most practical way possible, training children in vocals and instruments and recording new worship songs in Hebrew, Arabic, and English in our studio in Jerusalem. We complete the translation of several books, including the two-year process of translating the Action Bible, a comic book style Bible for kids and teens. We give one to every child who attended our sponsored summer sports and leadership camp. We see growth in the body as I Stand With Israel, our benevolence fund supports believers from our network of over 100 Jewish and Arab congregations in Israel. And when the Feast of Tabernacles arrives, we go camping with some of the Ma'oz team and Bereshit, our home congregation. They even had camel rides. The Israeli Prime Minister declared war following Islamists infiltrating Israeli territory in a multi-front surprise terrorist attack against civilians. Hamas burned our villages to the ground. One of those villages had an ambulance that stood ready to take kids from Gaza to Hadassah Hospital. They didn't care. They attacked everyone they saw. Anyone, Jew, Arab, Bedouin, Druze, Christian, Muslim. We're at war. Only the fourth in my lifetime. There is so much need. We have to focus so we can help in a way that matters. We focus on three areas the basic needs of soldiers in the field and their families back home, the education of evacuated children, and the harvest. Our reserve soldiers, 360,000 of them, were parents, high school principals, and business owners last week. And now they've been thrown into the middle of the desert. When they call home to tell what it's like, we all realize quickly, everything happens so fast. They don't have proper gear or food. They don't have helmets that fit, mounted cameras for evidence collecting, jackets for the cold desert nights. They don't even have proper shoes. We got them equipment, thousands of them, as much as we could find. We team up with ministries from across the country and city municipalities. We provide school supplies for kids evacuated from the Lebanon border to Nazareth and those evacuated from the Gaza border to central Israel. We even build a school from scratch together with the city of Ranana near Tel Aviv. As for the agriculture crisis that resulted from thousands of foreign workers fleeing the war, money can only help so much. Manpower is the key. So the Ma'oz team goes down into the field to harvest together with thousands of other Israelis who understand the ramifications of a food shortage. We pick tomatoes near the Gaza border to the sounds of explosions. This is our country. We have nowhere else to go. What we do have is the promise that this is where we are supposed to be and that all Israel shall be saved.